Hi, this is James McKenzie with VirtualMacOSX.com and today we're going to be looking at the VirtualMacOSX.com website. We're going to be looking at the different types of plans that we offer and having a bit of a comparison between the plans that we offer. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, homepage of the website. Here we have the front page our menu bar along the top. Now this is going to appear differently if you're using a mobile de mobile device in order to connect. So what we have here along the top is home, shared plans, dedicated plans, help desk, which has a number of subcategories, the order now, which will take you to the build, billing portal, a blog, and then some information about us and some testimonials for our service. So today, let's, uh, we're going to concentrate primarily on the different plans that are available. And the biggest questions that we have are, what's the difference between the shared plan and the dedicated plans? And then within those plans, what are the different variable levels of plan? So let's start with the difference, the primary difference between the shared plan and dedicated plan. So if we look down here, we can see that there are a number of plans. There's three levels of shared plan, three levels of dedicated plan. A lot of times what people don't, what people focus on is the specifications of the units, the environments that they're going to, that their plan is going to be hosted on. So if we take a look at the shared plan, shared plan light, uh, you'll see that it's four gigabytes of RAM. So the environment itself has a resource pool of four gigabytes of RAM, two CPU, um, latest OSX, uh, latest Xcode, one gig of storage, and one hour per day. So we'll go into a little bit more detail on the different levels of each of the shared plans and each of the dedicated plans. But let's just focus right now on the difference between shared plans and dedicated plans in general. So as you can see that the specs on the shared plan are actually quite good. Uh, we're dealing with reasonable amount of uh, resource pool, especially considering that these are in the most in most cases virtual environments, which uh, resource pools are often a little bit more tightly defined. Uh, this is the most efficient way to run the types of applications that are. Uh, typically ran on our environment. So we have fairly strong specs on our shared environment. If we go down below uh, in our dedicated environment, price goes up You can see that this is on an annual term quite affordable, just over $10 per month. And then in a dedicated plan, uh, still affordable, but we're jumping up three times as much into the $35 range for a uh, basic dedicated plan. Now you'll also notice that the hardware pool is reduced over the shared environment. So you're paying more, quite a bit more, three times as much more for lower system specifications. So why is this? What is the reason that we're having such a, 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 a drop in hardware environment um, versus increase in cost. So the, the primary reason for this is that this is, as it says, a dedicated plan. So this is a dedicated resource pool that only you have access to. You're going to have a reservation of two gigs of RAM and two CPU that, uh, without, and we don't uh, limit CPU usage either. That's another thing that you should note is that there's no, there's no um, uh, CPU throttling so you have a full access to two virtual CPUs on the environment and 40 gigabytes of storage. Now, obviously, uh, there, the, the hard drive itself that the uh, environment resides on is larger than 40 gigabytes. There's 40 gigabytes of free storage. The system itself takes up uh, a fair amount of storage as well. So the, the disk itself is larger than 40 gigabytes. 40 gigabytes is the amount of free storage that you'll have available to utilize for your projects and installations. You'll also notice that you have 24 seven root access. Root access is important because you are the only uh, 
inhabitant of this resource pool. You're the only user of this resource pool. So therefore you have full admin and root access. There is a difference between admin access and root access. And this is something that we will look at in detail uh, a little bit uh, in a different video in the future. Okay, so we can see right off the bat that there is a difference in price. There's a difference in um, having a little bit lower but dedicated resources in this case, and then having greater but non-dedicated resources. So what does it mean when we say that it's a shared environment? A lot of people worry that they're actually sharing a desktop environment with uh, other people and there would be no security for their files, there'd be no continuity with the, the settings that they have, etc. This is not the case. Within uh, Mac OS, there is a multi-user environment. Each environment, each desktop is secured by Unix permissions. So you have folder permissions all the way through to file permissions, uh, which, you know, very safe protocols to protect your uh, settings, not only your settings, but also your data and configurations of your specific desktop. So when you come to log into the system, you'll be you'll be greeted with a login screen. You'll, you'll need to use your desk, your uh, username and password in order to log into your specific desktop. So that desktop is, is separate and distinct from all other shared users on the system. However, there are other users that use the same resource pool as you. So in this case, if you're looking at the shared light plan you have or any of the shared plans, you have a minimum of four gigs of RAM, a minimum of two CPU. This resource pool is shared amongst uh, as, as many as, um, on virtual environments, five users. So you and four other users. And on our hardware environments, some of our environments are direct hardware environments rather than virtual environments. This is sometimes referred to um, within support circles our support circles as the shared plus plan. So shared plus is something that we don't, at this stage, don't charge more for, but it is a hardware environment rather than a virtual environment. And those uh, environments have typically at least a minimum of eight gigs of RAM and four CPU. So those environments are given out randomly unless there's a specific requirement expressed by the user that they, were, that they need a hardware environment for specific um, use case scenarios. So we are going to be sharing this environment in terms of resources with uh, potentially other people. Now, often um, you will have the environment to yourself, in which case, if you're the only user on the environment, you would have full access to the entire resource pool. If another user is logged in and using the system, that could be degraded, right? So you, you're gonna be sharing the four gigs, minimum four gigs of RAM, you're gonna be sharing the two minimum C2 CPUs with another uh, potential user or maybe even more than one other user. So then the system performance can degrade uh, in, in depending upon the amount of people that are online. We try to, um, we try to distribute the unlimited plan onto uh, so that there, we, don't, we try not to stack too many unlimiteds on the same service, on the same environment, in order to avoid uh, consistent conflict with between users. But sometimes this is difficult because our most popular plan is the shared unlimited plan. Okay, so I think that that kind of gives an idea of what the uh, resource pools are, what the difference between the shared environment and the dedicated environment is. Now we can look at uh, within each of these different types and tiers of plan, what's the difference between um, each of the, the levels of plan. So starting with the uh, shared plan, uh, you'll see we have three plans available, shared light one, shared light three, which is three hours per day, and shared unlimited, which is an unlimited amount of uh, hourly access to the plan. We're gonna make a, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit more about that in a moment, but let's take a look at the difference between light one, light three, and unlimited in terms of time. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but there's often questions about how to manage time on your environment. 
So if you, are, if you are allocated one hour per day, as is the case in the shared light plan, you are going to have access to running applications within your environment for up to one hour per day. How is this managed? This is managed with the built-in screen time application within macOS. So at the, at the time of, uh, of your account being created, you, your allocation, your daily allocation is, is entered into the screen time settings in system preferences and you're allocated one hour per day that you can use throughout any of the different applications in your environment. Same as the case with three hours per day, you're allocated three hours per day of, that you can distribute amongst any of the applications on the environment. When it comes to unlimited, it is unlimited, and it, for sure, if you needed to use it for 24 hours straight because you had a project due or uh, for whatever reason, um, you could, but it's important to understand that these are single user licenses. You cannot share a shared unlimited plan amongst a team. So you couldn't be using the environment consistently for 24 hours a day having three different members in three different time zones logging in um, throughout the entire 24 hour cycle to try and utilize that, that environment 24 hours a day. It's a soft limit of eight hours per day. We, we, we say unlimited because for the most part, eight hours is a full working day and you're welcome to use it up to eight hours a day consistently. So every day of the year, you could use it for uh, eight hours a day. You could use it for 24 hours a day occasionally if you needed to, if you had like a deadline or, you know, 12, 14 hours. There's certainly no um, hard limit on your time. But if, you, if we consistently see uh, an uh, abuse of the single user policy, support would recommend that you upgrade to one of the dedicated plans where you, where you could share amongst many users, however many users you want to use your system on a dedicated plan, that's your, your choice, that's your prerogative. You can use it 24 hours a day. You can have multiple users. You can set up your own users. That is the, the idea behind the dedicated plans. Shared plans, if you want more than one user using the system, you need to subscribe to a seat for each individual user. So that's the main difference between uh, the, amongst the shared plan tiers. And then now let's move on to dedicated. In the, in the case of the dedicated plan, the main differences between the tiers is the amount of hardware resources that are allocated to you within your resource pool. So in the case of the dedicated, this basic dedicated plan, we've already looked, you have two gigabytes of RAM and two uh, CPU, and you have 40 gigs of usable storage and 24 hours a day, seven days a week of root access. On the dedicated elite plan, you're jumping up to four gigs of RAM and two CPU with the same amount of storage and full root access. In the dedicated ultra plan, you're jumping up to six gigs of RAM, four CPU, so there's a jump up in CPU power. Uh, a little bit more storage, you get 60 usable gigs of storage, and then you still have 24 seven root access. On all of these plans, you are able to have multiple users, so you can set up your own users, you can have different users, user uh, spaces for different tasks within your organization, different, um, uh, different um, user accounts for personnel within your organization. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility with the dedicated plans. It's essentially a uh, virtual Mac, dedicated virtual Mac online that you have full access to in the case of the dedicated plans. So that is the uh, overview of the different types of plans that we have available on virtualmacosx.com. We can put together a quote if you have greater needs than an individual account. Let us know what your needs are and we can try and help sort out a, an unaffordable plan that will meet your needs. All right, thank you very much for joining me today. This has been James McKenzie with virtualmacosx.com. Thanks again for, for taking a look at our service. And again, if you have any questions, please reach out. Have a great day. Take care.